and you guys can tell me a bit about what happened last time. All right, recording has been started. What's up, y'all? What the fuck have you done? I don't know. I wasn't there for half the session. <laughs> well, all right, we'll get to you. What did y'all do? <laughs> I tried to investigate um, Navi's disappearance. Um, it didn't really get anywhere. Uh, have have we we know that she spoke to a half orc man, and that was the last thing anybody saw her do before she vanished. And Lacrimus apparently got real mad about that half orc man. Yes. Yes. Like, mad enough for her facade to crack. Um, and then, um, Victor, Soot, and Fern went out to the the murder location, and oopsie ghost. Oh yeah, uh -oh. the fucking ghost. Uh, they got okay. scared wanted, off. Of course it's haunted. He wants to be remembered. Uh, Victor and Fern yeah. got scared off. Um, Soot didn't, and he stayed around for some stupid reason. Because <laughs> he's so cool, and I love him. Uh, he, but he's one sorcerer. <laughs> he's just a god, guys. On, unfortunately, God has not managed to kill him yet, and he needs to remind it why. Listen, if he died, the yeah. gods would be really bored. Um... That's yeah. all I have to say. Yeah. So, um, to fill in a little bit of detail there, you guys went around to Navi's usual haunts and didn't find anything except at uh, the Mellow U, um, and that is where she was seen speaking with the half-orc gentleman. Um, and they left separately, but that was the last uh, last she had been seen. You also had Fern attempt a sending to her. Um, you know that the spell apparently worked. The sending was sent and connected. Um, not sure. There are many reasons for a sending to fail completely or partially, so you're not really sure what what the deal with that was, but it was something. And uh, you guys went to meet Lacrimosa at um, the Silver Lark. It was a lovely time for Aya and Garvold. Um, and a little bit Danilo, but Danilo was mostly hanging out. Danilo was chilling. Aya and Garvold did a great job managing that conversation. One of those, um, we're getting nowhere with this conversations. Um, but yes, as Joe said, Lacrimosa, upon being told about the discussion with the half work that Navi apparently had, was very angry, um, evidently, because she expressed an emotion, however briefly. Um, but half the party left and decided to go investigate Bunker's Alley, or rather, Victor left, decided to pick up Fern and Soot from the Midnight Sun's hideout and be like, fuck it, let's go investigate Bunker's Alley. I don't want to deal with this shit. Um, so they went off to do that. Meanwhile, Aya, Garvold, and Danela stayed behind lurking at the Lark in order to see if uh, maybe Lacrimosa was going to be doing doing anything in response to her newfound information. So you guys were left sort of waiting there. Um, well, the other trio went to investigate Bunker's Alley. You went to Bunker's Alley. Um, it was a little creepy. Um, and then it was a lot creepy, and Fern and Victor got struck with an absolute, um, existential terror-inducing whale, um, and 
are officially panicked right now and running the fuck away. Um, Soot was not so freaked by the whale, um, but did then find himself uh, face to face with the ghostly figure of a woman with a knife in her chest. Um, and that is where we left off. Are there any questions before we begin? What the fuck? Yeah, I think what the fuck does sum it up, actually. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to be way more specific than that. <laughs> no, no, I think what the fuck does sum it up. It's just mm-hmm. a general purpose what the fuck. It doesn't need to be general answered. purpose what the yeah. fuck. That's fair. A rhetorical what that, the fuck, if you yeah, will. There you yeah, go. that's my one question. What the fuck? Uh, and okay. it doesn't need to be answered. <laughs> good, good question. Um, everybody get a good look at the landing page. Are we ready to move on? Um, I want to look at it real yes. quick. Hold on. I, I, I went to go grab stuff oh. so I didn't get to see it. The text. Bold choice lingering around this old haunt. Mm, boy. Oh, no. Oh, that doesn't bug me all for such. I, listen. Listen, I did have a little chuckle at that, quietly to myself. <laughs> Anything else? Um, <laughs> the ring paper. has slid out from... The ring has slid out from underneath the table. It was partially... Yes. It was half covered before, now it's all the way out. Mm-hmm. Yeah! There's a new yeah. piece of paper here. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll update the Parker harassment counter. I don't, uh, the Parker and Nocturne harassment counters. I don't know if I can update the Victor harassment counter. I also know this has been there like a few times, but like the red and blue fags are getting me. I don't know what they are. I don't know why they are. So. I think they're your fault. I think they're the Midnight Zone's fault. I think they're a representation I... of the conspiracy board. Yeah. So I. The thing about those flags is that they look like the flag that was next to Skylar uh, during Seven of Nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The little pin. So yeah. Yes. I, I, I think stuff is going to happen on those papers that might be relevant. Well, okay. We're going to we get just haven't information figured it out yet. that is going to be crucial at some point, maybe? Two separate pieces maybe. of evidence I mean, to I, find? I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not like a hundred percent on what it meant for Skylar, but you know, their dad was involved, so it the, the paper's significant, mm-hmm. but they're different colors, so they probably represent different things, maybe. I don't know. The, these anything else? Did we miss anything? I think we didn't again. miss anything. No. Yay! All right. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, please excuse um, this uh, situation. Oh, fuck. I labeled it. I did label it. Yes. Um, so you should this understand what's happening here physically. Yeah, I love I you do. so much. Also um, so this is this is what we're working with here. It works. Um, well, uh, it's super foul. Mm-hmm. It works. And we got it. Uh, Soot, you're 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 like right here, buddy. I'm like right here. Yeah. Uh oh. That's where you are. Uh oh. Um, Fern and Victor, you're basically running off the map right now, so you don't you guys don't have to put yourselves on the map. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can if you want to, but like, it, you know, I'm not going to stop you from doing it, but you are currently running away um, for some period of time that I put in my notes from last week. Let's see how long you are running for. Okay. I will keep track of that. And, um, Soot. Hi, buddy. I hate to do this to you, but the first thing we're going to do is roll initiative. Yeah. Bigger. We're gonna use my my fire dice. Uh, that could be better, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I got a fourteen on my initiative. 
Okay, let me add, add turn for you here, bud. Me. We actually roll Jeez, okay. Um actually. And then I will actually you know what, let's uh let's have if either if either uh, Fern or Victor could be popped onto the map just so I can have the space for them in the turn order, just so I can keep track of the rounds of uh, rounds of panic. That would be lovely. How long they be spooked? Thank you. Alright, you're going at um, initiative zero. Sorry. That's fair. So, Soot. Mm -hmm. There's a ghost in front of you. Yeah. Um. It's your turn. Well. There's gonna be a dog in here. Um, we're gonna. Oh, fuck. Um. If I cast next to this guy, he's gonna get an attack on me, isn't he? Oh, you had actually already. You had oh, already. Right. Some, now I remember you summoned matches as a blink dog at the end of right, last session. Right. I apologize. No, okay. Go so we can put a matches down. Pog. That was beginning before combat. Um, let me get blink yes. dog stats up here real quick. There's my blinky boy. I would like to get out of melee range of this guy first. Um, let's see. Let's, let's go there. Um, and, and matches would have been summoned. Let's see. He would have been... Come on. Let me have matches, please. It's not supposed to be this hard. There we go. He would have been somewhere back here. Okay. Um... Running away, but I'm gonna have matches to try and give him a bite. Okay. Uh, let's let me look at my dog stats real quick. Go ahead and roll your attack while I'm doing that. Okay. Come on, matchy boy. I know you can do this. Oh, that's pretty good. That's. That's an unnatural 20 to hit. Okay. With a dirty 20, we... Uh... Jesus Christ. He is a magical beastie. He is a magical beast. However... His attack is not magical. Damn. And as a result... As a result, it does not uh, do any damage. It passes through... Passes through the ghost's form seemingly harmlessly. Shit. Okay. I can still cast since I didn't use my thing, so how far? So 30 feet there from me, so um We're gonna... Don't want a burning hands it. I want... I 
I'm looking at what I have. I'm sorry. One second. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'll do a second level heckle. Um, and it's an enchantment. Uh, you badger nitpick the subject of your spell until it's mood sour. So the target's attitude shifts one category toward hostile regarding you and everyone within 30 feet of the target at the time the spell is cast. The target also takes a negative two penalty to all attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks and skills that rely on intelligent wisdom or, chari wisdom or charisma. Um, and that would be okay. a will save from them. Nitpick DC 17. All of this poor woman did, a poor murdered woman's insecurities. Should have tried harder not to die. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. That's um, not what he says, but like, what else am I gonna yeah. tackle? <laughs> Uh, okay. Unfortunately, that is an 18 on the dice, so Damn it. Okay. that does not affect the ghost. But, um, we were just oh. thinking about hero points. Could I use a hero point on that? To, um... Uh, in order to force me to reroll, you need to use your single negative hero point. Um... Yeah, so no. Oh, right, right, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. If it's affecting something you're rolling or you're doing, you can use your own. If you're fe if you're affecting okay. me, it is uh, the negative zero point. All right, that's fine. Okay. I'll have. I'm gonna have. Well, yeah, we'll leave me. We'll leave matches where he is. He can't do okay. much. <laughs> All right. Um, Nicola is going to. advance on you, Sit. Um, yeah. You're not sure? She didn't really respond at all to the heckle? Hmm? Oh, wait. He doesn't, he doesn't affect her because his attack is not, ma is not magical. Yeah, magical. Correct. He's welcome to make an attack. It will do nothing. Um, uh, Nicola does not seem to react at all to your heckle soot. Um, and if anything, the look on her face is not one of anger, but one of just distress. Um, but she is still coming at you and reaching a hand towards you and into your chest. And she's making another attack mm. against you. And that is a... Not good. That is a 12 to hit. Mm, I don't think that hits. Let me check. Nope, my AC is 16. Okay. Um, then that is... Her turn. It is another round of Fern and Victor running. How are y'all doing? Well, running. real life, I've been choking on water for like five minutes. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> stop. No. I'm good. I'm good. It's just, I'm sorry if the two of you upstairs heard that shit. No. Oof. I couldn't hear um, you. I did not, don't worry. Okay. After perishing downstairs. <laughs> no. I'm fine, no. I promise. Um. Vic Victor? Victor's just moving. Just, just run. Run, bitch. <laughs> run, bitch, run. Run. And Fern is running along with her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. That is another round of that marked up. I am tracking how long that is happening for you guys. Um, Soot. Hmm. I'm wondering what I want to do here. My dog can't hurt it. <laughs> Hmm. 
which is a little bit annoying for soot. Um, uh, you know, it's right next to me. Yes, I couldn't. Oh, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm wondering if I just need to. Do I just take her down? I'm alone here. I need to. I need to ask our our chat. <laughs> yeah, I think you should. Run away. Yeah, I, I think just... you should run, because I don't know if she can follow you out of the alley. I think you should hug the ghost. Yeah, I don't know, because we're going to have to come back here. She's just going to be in the way. I don't know if you can take her down on your own. Like, maybe. Soup maybe. would try. Do if we want to can... actually, like, kill her, though? I don't know, because the- we're not going to be able to talk to her anyways. I mean... Are you sure? I- so it might try here, I just don't know what to ask her. Maybe there's things we could prepare. Do we have anything you know, at maybe... this level? Or- or buy, you know? I'm- I'm, mm. I'm- I'm looking at my spells right now. Okay. Your spells are going to be my spells, essentially. But, yeah, but like I even can use less. Any of them. Yeah. <sighs> She's right in front of me, right, PK? She's right in front of you. What is Soot doing in this moment, alone in this alley? Um, he's going to use Mind Link, and he's going to try and convey oh. to her through Mind Link. A variety of information basically stating like we're not here to harm you I would hope that you don't harm us anymore if we come back and show her like a reel of like the people that I travel with and like show that that can be like a trust basically whatever he can fit into like a 10 minute chunk there in that that six second block or whatever that the spell allows um, to like try we, and we reassure to her we are. to try and assure her that we're not yes. going to be um, violent towards her, even though Sid originally was that way. He he's trying very hard to make it like we're not going to attack you. Please don't hurt us. We want to try and solve this okay. so you can pass on peacefully. Um, All right. Um, you reach out and you attempt the spell Mind Link. Um, and her face doesn't really change from that distress. Again, it's not anger. Mm -hmm. She's confused and alarmed and a little panicked herself. And you can see parts of her face that even through the spectral incorporeal nature of, of, of this image that she is now are shiny with tear tracks um is that your whole turn yeah i think so he might have matches run over to him though 
Okay. Matches um, can easily run over. How far? Yeah, he'd get matches within 35 feet. Okay. Actually, he can go 40, um, so he's gonna go here. On her turn, does a 25 hit your AC? Yes, it does. Oh, nice. Okay. Make a fortitude save for me, please. Okay. Come on, set. Oh, that's the wrong dice. That's a that's a D twelve. Um, one sec. Please do not make a fort this fortitude save with the D twelve. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to. Um, so that's pretty good. That's a nineteen fortitude. Nineteen. Okay. You take 16 points of damage. Uh, okay. Uh, 16. Okay. And she sort of, she makes another one of those wailing sounds, but now that you know where it's coming from, um, it, it, it doesn't strike that same fear into your heart. You're more distracted by um, the physical pain. Victor and Fern, this is... You're getting far enough away now that you feel comfortable sort of slowing down your run at the end of next turn, you are free. Um, Victor just like reaches out and grabs Fern's shoulder <laughs> as they are starting to kind of reach the reaching reach an ending point. You know, you know that like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just okay, okay, okay. Stop. <laughs> But we will finish. Right. We will. We will finish out that run. Okay. Uh, so it is your turn now. Oh well, should book it, I suppose. Um, full round and then dash, I guess, sixty feet. Trying to get, trying to get away okay. from her with with my dog. I can't really do much to her unless I wanted to burn down the alleyway, which I don't really want to do. Uh. All right. Um, so you yeet your ass out of there. Um, and you were vaguely, I will, I will give you that you were vaguely aware of the direction that Fern and Victor ran. They ran far enough that, um, you can't immediately see them. Um, but I'm not you are able be to sort of for run too your. Long. He's mainly wanting to get out of her like eyesight and everything. Okay. Um. So I will say you sort of get you round the corner of the alley and then make it about a block and you're like okay, and you do not see her or hear her behind you at the moment. Um. And we'll take it out of a uh, we'll take it out of initiative order. Um, and Fern and Victor, you guys can fully come to a halt. That sort of acute panic, um, sort of leaving you all at once. And you can take a second to catch your breath and like, fuck. Just still hand on the shoulder, sort of other hand, kind of like you know on the knee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she doesn't run yeah. like this. Um. What? What the hell is this? Back, back there, I would assume. Heck. 
I, I don't want to go back. back Shakes her head. Like in agreement, you know, like. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> we we abandoned Soot. <laughs> we abandoned him. Um, she she doesn't make a move to keep moving though. Um, does does force herself to turn back around. See if she can't spot Soot. Yeah. Um, you can pretty uh, if Soot sort of keeps. So I'm assuming you are not turning back around once you're out of the alley. Yeah, no, he's gonna like, he's keeping a brisk pace. <laughs> okay. But he's not running because he doesn't want to attract attention because we did go in a place we weren't supposed to before. So, uh. It's, that is fair. Don't be suspicious. When? Don't be suspicious. <laughs> but he is kind of like jaw set. And muttering to himself, like, they fucking left, they left me there, they fucking left me there. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I, no, listen, 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 when, when Victor takes her hand off Fern's shoulder, they're going to, like, start going back, but, like, ca- cautiously, <laughs> like, keeping an yeah. eye out. Um, Victor yeah. can abandon him. No, uh, <laughs> no, Victor, Victor, upon seeing Fern does intend to go back at least a little, is going to go with him. Okay. She, it um, was more her just, like, stopping. She does not have a good con score. Stopping and trying to look and see while catching her breath vibes rather than goodbye, you know? Yeah, yeah. Fern has a solid comment. That was looking fine. Um, Victor doesn't run like this. So, you guys take a second for Victor to catch your breath. Um, and Victor, eventually, you're able to, like, get in that breath of the air that you need and turn around. You sort of start cautiously heading back that way, and that is the point where you see so, like, Speed walking, kind of real he, casual, he like don't be suspicious sight. back in your direction. He does catch sight of you guys, like, event. once he does, you watch his, like, his. He catches sight of you guys and does walk faster. <laughs> Alright, uh, Victor. Look, he does not look amused. I won't. Does he look hurt? Yeah. Like, how hurt does yes. he look? Um, it looks pretty bad, right? No. Like, like I'm asking, like, would it be no? How would it be noticeable the damage that he took physically, basically? Um, he's one fifth of his health, or not one fifth, like um. one fifth of his health is gone, basically. So, he doesn't look like the best, probably. I, I don't. Does. Did the attack He's kind of walking like a man damage. 40 years older than he is due to the lingering pains. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna lay on hands so it, Okay. Like, as soon as I can, you know. Yeah. That's going to be uh, 16 healing. Perfect. That gets me up to full. Yeah! Woohoo! Because I took technically 15 to points full? of damage. Yep. He does. He took like, sixteen er, plus last week. No, it was nine plus um, because that one didn't hit, and then it was like a fifteen. Or hold on. It was last week. You took damage, and I then took nine points of damage last time. Yep, and then you took sixteen this time. So you're down ten points. Uh, you're down nine points if he healed sixteen. Okay, 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that it particularly matters over much, just... Yeah, I'm still at 9 points, so it doesn't really matter. It kind of... It's fine. Yeah, you you can sleep that off. It'll be okay. Yeah. Victor... Victor fully just gonna, like, keep a bit of an eye out, do one of those, like... Sit does, does the fall, grab and like, fall walk into, thing. 
Yeah, like like fall into step, you know, like the no, we're casual, we're casual. Sid does the grabs you both by the back, like the back of your shirts, and then walks forward, like arms on each side of you guys, to, and walks you both forward. Like man is not stopping his stride. He's like, we're going back to where we're staying, and we're gonna talk about what we just saw. <laughs> and he says nothing that else. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Victor nods. Um, and I will note as well smack that in the back <laughs> for that one, like good. <laughs> uh, I will note as well that Fern and Victor, you guys did not see the ghost. Um, yeah. You guys just heard it and ran, so you don't actually, you did not physically see it. Um, you heard scary noise and then saw so a little fucked up. Don't worry, Soot can mind link you guys later if you'd like. <laughs> Soot can give you the information. Yup. One thing about that boy is he will convey information. This is true. Oh, man, this is why he is the storyteller. Men has information. <laughs> men have information sometimes. That's something about men. Yeah. Um, yeah. True. Hi. What are you doing? So yeah, you guys are headed back to um, the Midnight Suns. Uh, yeah, I assume that's where everybody else was supposed to be. Yeah, that's about where everybody else was supposed to be uh, at this point in time. Me. Um, are you guys doing any talking on the way back? I'm just since Asterisk is due to be here soon, and Danelle is with the other group. I would love to delay going to the other group as long as possible. Yeah. I think when what, Soot's what calmed up? down, he would listen to you guys. What, what happened? Why were you hurt? Well, there was certainly a person there. The dead variety. Not living dead or anything, but like ghosts, I think. Incorporeal. Matches couldn't bite her. Um, she looked frightened and confused but anything I said to her really didn't do anything I don't think she's really rational um and at least nothing I could say could stop her from trying to reach out for me and it did damage me a bit wasn't the most pleasant of experiences but I didn't necessarily want to attack her everything else I had there would have left a mark in the alleyway and I don't think we wanted to disturb the evidence that much. Now, that would be a bad idea. Maybe we could do something... And he kind of like wiggles his hands a little bit. Having to do with cleric stuff or god things, I don't know. Talk with her what? somehow. What do I know about talking to a ghost, PK? <laughs> What do what I know, do about, you talking know about ghost talking PK? I'm so glad you guys are asking. I would love a knowledge religion or a knowledge arcana or maybe oh, even uh, No, religion and arcana are the ones that I'm going to take. Would I have any religion idea arcana is. wise about ghosties? Nope. Um so I will say it's not super likely because I don't think yeah. that's going to focus for you, but you can still make an arcana check. I will. Okay. We'll that's see, we'll a nine. See. I'm mainly thinking okay. like soot stories. Like what would, oh boy. Um, 15 religion. Nine religion, I should say. 15 religion. Okay. 22 arcana for soot, even though you rolled a six. Um. <laughs> He's a king. Um, <laughs> Okay. So. I will oh, wait, no, start it's even actually with Stutt. Hold on, um, it's even more than 22. Well, okay oh, then. Yeah, that's right. No, never mind, I'm right. I'm, I'm silly. Never mind. Okay. So, starting with Sit. Upon a little bit of 
reflection now that you are not in such a panicked state. Um, and now that you're not in such a panicked state, you are aware of maybe why you think your mind link did not work the way it has in the past. Um, that is to say, from every story you've heard about ghosts, there's certain things, and all undead really, but ghosts are included in this, um, and there are more ghost stories than are than there are, like, I don't know, animated skeleton stories. Um, but from what you know about ghosts, there's certain kinds of magic that just does not work on them for whatever reason. Um, one of those things is uh, mind affecting effects. So anything that is a compulsion, a charm, a morale effect, um, anything that is, for example, as mind link is a spell that has a the school of magic and then parentheses mind affecting. It doesn't necessarily work on a ghost because a ghost is um, not a person. A ghost does not have a mind. A ghost is a... A ghost is not a soul. A ghost is a very specific sort of manifestation of pieces of what a person once was, but it uh. is not something that can actually be affected by magic like that. So more of um, a figment of something versus actually their soul, just like a lingering portion of Yes, it is It is a remnant. There are exceptions. There are um, powerful souls that can stay uh, manifested on the material plane as a soul, and those are also sometimes called ghosts. Um, but that's not the same thing as your average run-of-the-mill day-to-day ghost, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so, that being the case... You kind of have an idea of why that didn't go so well. Um, Fern, ghosts are not your strong suit. Um, Victor, ghosts are also not necessarily your strong suit, but from the perspective of a religion check, um, you also know that ghosts are not actually a person's real soul lingering. Um, they are sort of a fragment um, or an echo of what once was there. Um, especially in cases like this with a haunting. Um, and you also know that ghosts haunt things for a reason. Um whether that is where they died or whether they had a specific emotional connection to that place. And you know um, that once a ghost starts haunting a place, it's frequently not as easy as, oh, just do a little stab a stab a kill a kill a. You need to find some way to resolve, um, resolve the lingering or the reason for the lingering, whatever that may be, which can be quite complex in some cases. So that's what you guys okay. know about ghosts. Okay. Okay. Victor just kind of shakes her head and she's like, there ain't no talking to a ghost like that. I mean, it's not really them. Right. Like a figment of a memory. Not like. I suppose I was just hoping I was wrong. Um, maybe we could do something about it, but I don't know what we could do to resolve that. That's a little too much for me. Victor makes a facial expression. <laughs> And then it's gone a second later. I 
don't know anything about ghosts. I only really know stories and what stuffy <laughs> textbooks might have to say on the variety. Oh, which isn't quite a lot, I'll be honest. Too much theory. Well, then it makes it cliche that I'm about to say it's right up my alley. Well, it certainly should be somebody's. Um, she just... It's like more, more like a piece of, of memory got left somewhere rather than a person. Alright. So there's no She's reason. there for a reason, though. No, she is there for a reason. As maybe, I guess memory... We're not gonna get much out of talking to her, though, is what I mean. No. No, we ain't. I suppose it's less like a memory and more like an emotion. Or something. Between the two. Sure. That does make trying to check out the area a little more complicated. I mean, she's distressed enough to lash out, yeah. I don't know if she necessarily wanted to hurt me, but she certainly did. Well, she's haunting the place she died, right? So unless she has a show of other very happy memories about this place. Well, obviously. She thinks she's being killed. Thanks. Feels. Is. Maybe all of them. I think that's pretty. Yeah. Pretty accurate. <sighs> there are ways you can you can untether him though. She's there for a reason. I'm just wondering how we're gonna deal with that. I mean, we don't necessarily have to, but if I was thinking, I would have tried to ignore her a little bit to see what I could see in the area, but quite honestly, I'm not the best investigator. I can tell magical traces, but that's about it. Easily scared off. Not really. That's good. I'm used to hearing weird things. Well, you do what you do for any other murder investigation. You ask the living the questions. I suppose we could try and find people that she was involved with. I was seeing her apparition with some knife in her chest. Maybe we could figure out if anybody had ill intentions to her or something. <coughs> she knew too much or something? I don't know. I'm sure Grovel's got a board somewhere with strings so we can look at. <laughs> Darwin comes back to like five new conspiracy <laughs> boards that are completely disorganized and not following the system. <laughs> we can Somehow there's a string connecting all the boards together. <laughs> it's a theory. It's like 
it's like a, a web room. There's just like string like going across the room to different boards. And it's it's fern web series. The <laughs> it's just gobble crying in the corner. It's like the point of the boards is to keep it contained. It needs to be three D. <laughs> they they need to be free. You can easily connect this one all the way over to there. You just have to walk a few feet. <laughs> What's the point if it's all connected? <laughs> the world is a vast and complex place. Sometimes you need to weave a little web. <laughs> and this scene. Is so this is stupid. Back to, back to things that actually oh, did dumb. happen. That was amazing. <laughs> that happened in That was universe. glorious. Um, no, no one's spicy ways to bully gobbled. Literally. Um, so, whilst you three are in the Midnight Suns um, hideout, discussing what you know and don't know about ghosts, um, Aya, Garvold, and Danela have been lurking and lingering trying to figure out figure out if Lady Lacrimosa is leaving the lurk. That was way too many L's. Um tongue twister. I'm can I'm canceling myself for naming Lady things Lacrimosa the way that I did. Alliteration time. Yeah. This is like last night where one of my characters summoned a creature called a whack whack and it was fighting a creature called a Bodak. And oh so God, everyone just started like anytime I would say a sentence it's like the whack whack in fact attacks the Bodak. <laughs> You know how it is with whack whacks. Yeah. No, you know I don't. That's a you, you know problem. <sighs> You'll find out. Whack You'll whack find out. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. Yeah. So. Whatever the fuck I was actually saying, which is to say... I'm lurking. You're lurking. You're so Why chill and normal and, and like, just a regular guy. Lurking. I think in and near the lock, and Aya is currently a bird on the roof. Not on the roof of the lock, but on, like, near yes. my roof. Bird on roof. We got um, animals on the roof. Bird on roof. Near to be close to the sky for her health. We have to put the animals on the roof, is the thing. Animals should be on roofs, it's good for them. Um, this is so true. That's just a fact about... Being on the roof is an enrichment activity. Mm -hmm. It is something that I have... I have gargled with a great on things before, but I think this is something that is like a fundamental a piece of understanding for each of them. It's like, you gotta be on the roof for your enrichment. Bitches will literally be on the roof, and I think that's beautiful. Um, I so realized so that bitch was so far to height, and so, but so many of my characters are like, hmm, my comfort place is on the roof. In theory, you love roofs. Hmm. In practice, no. Roofs are a concept to you. In theory, I love roofs. In practice, I have the irrational fear that they're gonna, like, collapse out from under me. You know... And I know it's an irrational fear, because I know exactly where it came from. It came from a nightmare I had when I was, like, six. Roofs are something that can be so personal and so scary. Um... <laughs> So, Garvel is being so sneaky, and so casual, and so regular. Um, have you made a perception check for this yet? Or no? Uh, no. I think I've just made a sense motive to be like, it's like, oh, Lacrimosa does not want to talk to this person right now. Mm -hmm. I will make a perception. I a and it's going to be great, because... I'm arguably more 
listen, I'm counting it. It's you it's know, right. it's 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 a little better than usual. Um, that might push the average to nine point five. Wow. Including my modifier. Wow. I, this is including the Would modifier. Would you like a perception check from me, or is it just from the two in the walk at the moment? It's gonna be just the folks in. I mean, you can make a perception check. And like, there's always interesting stuff going on outside. Um, so you are welcome to make a perception check. Should that bring you any joy? Yeah, it will bring me joy. Is the thing. Then, then, then I want you to perceive. Although the thing that is not bringing me joy is I don't know where my mouse is. So. Mouseless. I got a fourteen mouseless. on the die. There it is. There it is. I got a fourteen on the dice, which I think means I have twenty-eight. But let me verify that now that I've found my mouse. Nice. No, it's a twenty-nine. Nieces. Okay. My C's. My C's. Um, with a twenty-nine, you um win. I'll start nice. with yeah. I'll start with Aya just because if I if I stall a little longer, Danela will be here. Um, Aya out on the roof. It's a really nice, quiet night. Um, there are not. To, to, to your perception, um, it's kind of weird being on this side of town. You're not used to being uh, on, on the pond end of things in the evenings. Normally, you're more over by Sweetwater. And um, while the nights may be nice, they are never quiet. Um, so that yeah. that's actually a little weird for you. It's almost jarring. It feels like the city is kind of... It's not dead on this side of town by any like reasonable standard, but based on your experience with Camlin, it is a very strange, um, strange quiet. Yeah. But there are still folks about. There are some people, there's a couple um, walking around the pond um, hand in hand who seem to be having a lovely evening. There are also, um, some folks sort of on their way into the lark or on their way out of the lark. There are even a couple people in the more residential uh, buildings on the on the pond that you can see um, who are having having a nice evening on their porch. It is a nice summer summer night, and people are people are enjoying it. It's just a very different kind of. It's a very different kind of evening than you used to. Um, nothing strikes you as particularly concerning or alarming. Yeah. But it's an interesting, it's an interesting difference. It's a new experience for you in this in this particular city, so that's nice. The pond is um, glowing as always. Yeah. All right, and then Garbled. You can see there is a waiter who goes to um, goes to Lacrimosa's table, and then a minute later comes back, um, still carrying the plate that he had been taking over. Um, having seemingly been turned immediately right back around and sent back to the kitchen. And that is where he is going. Um, so you can only assume that for some reason or another, she must have rejected the food. Suspicious. <laughs> um, my brain is not connecting dots. Or, nice. okay. or there is a message. There could be a secret message. Mm. What if mm -hmm. got, someone got some... Mm. It doesn't matter. I, I think... Mm, it does matter, though. Mm. 
How ready does Lacrimosa look to leaving, theoretically? Um, based on the vibe check, she seems um, pretty intent on leaving. Um, she oh, is I, wrapping I up a conversation, TM. Yeah, okay, yeah. I In that case, yeah, Govold is just... Let let the food go. Wait for like a most to leave. To tail. Okay. Alright. I will say, make another stealth check to tail her unnoticed on your way out of the restaurant. Of course. Um... Mm, do I be so bold as to use a hero point now that hero points are totally cool and relevant? <laughs> I don't know, do you? No, I believe in me, because I'm great. Okay. Well, just 31. Oh, just 31. <laughs> just 31. Just 31. No, it's not 34, I think. Well, <laughs> Jesus Christ, woman. Okay. Here's the thing. I, I think if you're not punching 35, then something's wrong. Where, you, where the hell do you guys get these numbers from? <laughs> My highest um, is a plus 15. You're a yeah. cleric, baby. <laughs> Uh, but, to be fair, under condition, Goggle's stuff is a plus 15. So, so is my perception. Um, my highest is a plus 20, but only because of a magic item. I also need you... Uh, I, notably, uh, the Vigilante has basically every skill as a class skill. So as long as I put, like, one into anything, I, I'm good. But also, I have currently 64 skill ranks. <laughs> Yeah. I have a. Garbot has a plus three intelligence, and the what? vigilante gives you a lot. Garbot is smart. Garbot's great. Garbot's a I specialist love... boy, and I love him. Um, I love how many of this party have high intelligence. It makes me feel great. It makes me feel fantastic being like, nah, I went a 12, and I'm gonna keep having a 12 until I'm forced to have high up. Yeah. So, um, Garvold, you are entirely confident that Lacrimosa does not notice you on her way out of the Lark. You also do notice, because your perception's all right, this woman does not pay um, on her way out of the Lark, so either she already paid or she just has a running tab. Mm -hmm. Um... And she is... She could just be dining and dashing. You don't know. <laughs> she or she, like or she is dining and dashing, yes, to this place that she returns on a near nightly basis. That is absolutely something that you could be know. the case. You don't know. Oh, like, what if angry just... enough that she doesn't think about it. No, the staff at the place are like, ah, oh, there she goes again. <laughs> yeah. You don't know, Parker says, about the NPC that I am playing. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, hello, Aswith. Hello. 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 Sorry, had a little bit of stuff to take care of right after work. No Valid. Worries. You are oh back my. just in time for um, the Gang Tales mm -hmm. Lacrimosa. Perfect. Um, I am um, able to see Lacrimosa leaving, right? Yes, Aya, with your perception and just the fact that you were literally waiting for this, um, it is easy to notice when this woman is on her way out the fucking door. Um, so and you still from me as well? Mm -hmm. the word, I already gave you? Um, I don't know if you gave me one. Go ahead and give me one. Um, and Danila, if you are tailing Lacrimosa on her way out as well, I would love stealth from you if you're trying to be of course. stealthy. That ends up incredibly coughed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my. One second. 
Okay. Sorry, my dice card was inverted for some reason. For fun. I can't remember if we actually communicated to Victor, hey, well, going to keep an eye on Lacrimosa. Yes. Up the that was part of the plan. Yeah. Okay. I was like, wait, are they just going to be sitting at the Midnight Sun's hideout going, that, that's taking a really long time to get back to that restaurant, for Lord? No, Victor. Oh. Victor's confident. Victor's chill. Victor knows. Victor would have communicated this. Okay. Um. Real fast, can I just get a rundown of what happened, by the way? While I get my dice. Yeah. So, um, so it survived the uh, the uh, the ghost. Um, I also ran away. Yeah. One way or another. <laughs> um. And uh, met back up with friend and Victor, and they started discussing little little ghost things. Um, you guys were doing your little lacrimosa watch. Um, she um, had maybe ordered food uh, earlier in the evening, and then uh, did not accept it when it actually showed up, um, and excused herself very quickly from the conversation she seemed to have been stuck in after you guys left. Um, and is now uh, on her way out, um, having either dined and dashed or uh, just left her tab open, depending on whether or not you are me, uh, the DM, or Parker, um, <laughs> who knows better. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I rolled uh, 16 for stealth. Okay. Total? Total. I have a plus she's, eight. I rolled an eight. She's a witch, not a monk or a vigilante. Simmer down. Um, what, the vigilante is good at tailing people? What? I would like to remind everyone I am in disguise. <laughs> you are in yes. disguise. Like, that's the thing. Notably, we're both in disguise, so it's like, we have a double layer. If one fails, the other is hopefully good. I can just ask, re act, like, really sloppy drunk, and that's why I'm being weird. Okay, do you want to go ahead in that case make a bluff as well? Okay, cool, yeah. Uh, okay, bluff, bluff, bluff. Yeah, uh, the two who okay. are on the ground are the two who are better suited to bluffing if something goes wrong. Get back here. That is. 19 plus. A 19 bluff? Good to know. Jesus Christ. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so, Danela, I will say, um, she definitely notices, she's definitely aware that there's a sloppy drunk, um, walking the same direction she is walking, um, and if you were a sloppy drunk, um, you would not notice at all, because you are actually trying to tail her, um, you do notice that she very casually um, just pauses in the uh, window of a jewelry store that is currently closed. Um, just sort of stops and admires something in the window for a little bit. Um, letting you pass her. Okay. <laughs> God, that's smart. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you pass her? Um, what is the are are we like in a like in just a main thoroughfare or like It's a it's a it's 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 not like the main street, but it's sort of a little, a little shopping and restaurant sort of area on the nice side of town. Okay, is there? Are we the only ones like in the area, or are, like there groups of people, or? There's a couple people around, um, but it is getting on the late side. The shops are all closed by now, so nobody's mm -hmm. like shopping, shopping. Um, there's a, there's a few people 
Um, you don't even see Garvold or Aya. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll pass her. I'll pass okay. her. All right. And you carry on along your merry way. Where where are you headed next? Is there like a corner or anything or like anywhere I can duck in? Yeah, absolutely. Like, are you looking for a place to hide or just a place to hang out for a minute? Um, hang out for a little. Okay, yeah, you can find a little spot. Um, easily enough. And, uh, Garbled, you see, you watch Lacrimosa, um, idly admire something in a window for a little while. Um, you see Danela pass her. You see Lacrimosa, um, search around, um, in the window, maybe looking for a price tag. Um... And then eventually sort of sigh and shake her head and carry on on her walk. Um, and she is going a, she's going to take a turn um, that is the opposite of the direction that Danela took a turn and ducked into a corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... But you are able to continue the following seemingly undetected. Same thing with Aya. You are up on the roof. Um, yes. And so you can sort of... You have a better bird's eye view of... Um, of... Um, goodness gracious. You have a better... You have a better bird's eye view of what's going on. So you can sort of see all of the players... Um, and, in play uh, here because we're in the rich part of time um you don't tend to get buildings sort of close it cl- the buildings do not tend to be as close together and therefore possibly concealing parts of ground level you have a pretty decent view um yeah. but it's also very possible the buildings are not super spread out either. Um, yeah. You're not um, going to have to do massive parkour from building to building. It is not, it is not, even though it's the nicer part of town, uh, Camelin is not um, sprawling necessarily. It is a, it is still a denser area. Yep. Um, when she's out of sight, can Danela pop out her wings for a minute? And fly up high, like to a roof or something. Ooh. Yeah, absolutely. Danela, Danela can pop up onto a roof. Um, oh, yeah. Aya, you see Danela pop up onto the roof next to you. <laughs> <laughs> you get a nod, and she points to where she's tracking Lacrimosa. Cool, cool, cool. And also a thumbs up about the wings. Like you get the nod, the point, and then she looks at you properly and thumbs up. <laughs> you get like a big grin and thumbs up back. <laughs> Double thumbs up. Yeah. It's so important to girlies. When women share girlies. lipstick, am I right? <laughs> you also share lipstick. Um, lacrimosa. <laughs> yes. Lacrimosa. You. Let's see here. Garbled, you do see her briefly as well, stop to um, chat with somebody she sees in the street and seems to recognize. Um, And it is very much like a, oh, they said hello, she's saying hello back, how are they doing? How how is so-and-so Lacrimosa heard about the sickness? You know, just whatever, like, hey, heard, you know, what's her face caught the flu? Like, is she feeling better? You know, something that's very, like, 
this is a social necessity. Um, but she doesn't I mean, seem to be so impatient with this person as she was with the person um, in the lark. Okay, in that case, I feel like I, I, I have to sense mode to see if there's any secret message going through that conversation. Yeah, okay, go ahead and do a little sense motive. Come on, I believe in me. I believe in me so hard. Come on, Garbold. Oh, I don't. Oh, come on! Garbold. Um. No. Oh, buddy. No. That was the. Oh. Well. Yeah, this is like. This is a really regular conversation. <laughs> it's it's like oh man you're kind of disappointed you're like wow I want her to be doing cool stuff and instead she's being normal yes. uh, sorry bro I will still take note of this second person in case I need to um um, could this not could, could this not be a, 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 an actual hero point use? Oh, <laughs> I literally, I literally have the hero point tab open. If you don't want to use a hero point, uh, how close uh, on the roof am I to like her? On the roof, you're not going to be able to hear the conversations. That is the I, downside. I'm of thinking detect thoughts. Oh. Which, it's a sixty uh, foot range. Ooh. Uh are there downsides to this? Oh. Sixty foot range. Um I'm not seeing like if they if they Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything about if um they Pass the check or anything, but let me double check. I will say, um, there will be a risk of you being seen by moving close enough to do detect thoughts. That's very fair. Um, if she conveys what she wants to try and do, I might be able to help her find a, uh, find a spot that is close enough while still fairly concealed. I will say there's not really enough time to do that okay. in this context. I'm not going yeah. to allow like an assist on a stealth or anything in this context just because it's such a they're having a brief passing conversation right now. Yeah, I would um it says I can do up to five. It's a cone her and whoever she's talking to. I would like to. Okay. All right. Uh yeah. You can go ahead and do that. And do I need to do, is it a will save? Um, yes, will DC 17. Okay. Lacrimosa. Okay. I am looking at the text of the spell real quick. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when you first cast the spell, it's um, a little bit of a lot of information. Um, you detect that there's thoughts in that area. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, thinking is happening over there. Mm hmm. Um, I will say, make me another stealth check, keeping in mind you are on the roof, so that is an advantage, and she is distracted, so it is not maybe the highest stake stealth check you've ever made. Okay, okay. Oh! Um, 15 plus 8. 23? 23. Okay. Good to know. Second round. Uh, 
you can tell. Oh, so you get to know an intelligence. You get to know her intelligence score. Mm hmm. It would be so concerning okay. if it was like 30 intelligence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> We'd be so scared. <laughs> We'd be like, oh, that's boss right there. Uh, I will message you her intelligence score. I'll be back in just a second as well. I'm so glad to finally get to use this stuff. <laughs> yes. yes. What I always get to with the type of thoughts is the material component <laughs> is a proper piece. They use you for fucking a penny for your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great. It always, it, it makes me mad yeah. and delighted. I've been wanting to use this one. I'm excited. <laughs> um, just thinking who is going to be included in the cone here? surface thoughts of any mind in the area. Okay. I need a second to think about this because I've never had to I've never had to deal with thought reading before. <laughs> to give you the gist and I'm going to type it up because that will be easier. Um, how did, uh, ghosts go? And boy abandonment and then retrieval. Me? I got a little bit injured. Yeah, I, I got a little bit smacked around, but it was fine. I got healed by, um, by Fern on the way back. Um, so it was the only one that Not saw the ghosty. And she, she didn't seem to be able to hear reason because ghosty. Um, so he ran away, but, yeah, we're not sure how to gather information with her lingering around that spot where she died, so we might have to take her out somehow or, or figure out how to release her. But I think in order to figure out how to release her, we're gonna have to be able to look around the site. Yeah, so... Yeah. 
I might be able to help with at least keeping her distracted. Yeah. Maybe, because matches couldn't even bite her. Your magical mm. attacks might work, but even magical beasts. Yeah, there's definitely okay. some cleric spells that can help. Yeah. Mm. Like, if we like use I don't know what they are. Okay. Like, I don't know what they are, but I know they exist. I have seen them before on the list, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we can have a day to prepare and then go back, I think, would be a good idea. Victor can't do a whole lot, despite being a, a, a divine caster. Um, she's just not built that way. I think Victor is best suited for the investigative portions anyway. Probably. Just I've given you the surface the surface thoughts currently. Cool, yeah. Um, she'll uh, whisper to Aya, she is upset about something and doesn't want to think about it. It does make sense with what we observed. Mm -hmm. That's all is that's she, all I'm getting so far. Is she thinking about where she's heading? Is she thinking about where she's heading? <laughs> did I write where she's heading did in not. my notes? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, Aya, you know. Um, it is it is one of those situations where like, oh, this is going to be like a ten second conversation. Then it's like, oh, this is going to be a forty five second conversation. Then it's like, oh, well, two minutes. And oh, I really need to be getting going. Um, from her conversation partner, actually, not from her. Um, and the two uh, part ways. Um, and she is walking away again. Um, okay. And she will be out of your range pretty shortly, unless you are actively following her with the spell up. Um, well, it only lasts for a minute. Okay. Then over the course of the minute of that cast of the spell, that is all you get. Um, okay. And, um... So one minute per level. That's per last level. Oh. Okay. In that case, we, the spell we, is we still up. We can let it count moderately closely for the next six minutes if you want, or we can let it. Um, I'd like to try and keep it up at least while, like, okay. to see if she's thinking about where she's heading. Okay. Um. Can we have to try and sort of map out a route that would keep us fairly close while. Yeah, and it is made easier by the fact that Danela has wings, I will say. Yeah. Um, yes, I can also I can also change where I'm focusing on. So like if we're moving. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um. So there are some times where she's sort of not in your immediate range or your immediate um line of sight. Like there's something blocking it, which does block the spell. Mm -hmm. Um. And, uh, but garbled, you are able to maintain your tail and feel pretty much entirely undetected. Um, she's making her way into a residential district, and, um, Danela, when you get a shot, uh, to sort of focus on her thoughts again, you do get the sense that she's going... She's going home whatever home currently means to her. In this case, you suspect it is a temporary home and not a permanent domicile. Um, but she's going home because she needs to handle this at home. Okay. Uh, definitely relay that to Aya. Okay. Still might be worth finding out what room is. Yeah. Oh, of course. You <laughs> um, follow. And as you guys are sort of continuing your rooftop dance, uh, as you get sort of into the more residential area, the roofs are kind of harder to navigate. Um, and Garvold, you do follow her um, 
not closely, but effectively right up to her doorstep or a doorstep that she um, enters that appears to be sort of just a little townhouse. Um, very nice. It's not, it's not, you know, on the pond, so it's not like the bougiest of the Camlin areas, but this is not a place that you, you know, that you rent when you're low on cash. Um, oh. This, this is the nice Airbnb. It's just not the nicest Airbnb, you know? Um, and so, Danela, Aya, you are able to catch up and find, uh, Danela, to your spell sense, this is home, um, and you are um, you are aware of her question. Um, you are aware of her what am I trying to say? She's thinking about something that she needs to get from inside. I will say that. She's thinking about an object she needs to get from I, inside. Well, we need to break in. We have to. Also, that's really funny. Uh, Joe, what was your question? So sorry. Does Garble come into the detect thoughts radius at all? And if if he does, is he picked up by it? Because I'm like, I know his safe house is protected against divination. Is he? Uh, Garble is not protected from divination outside of the safe house. Um, yeah, I was mostly just curious because I could see an argument for either way. Um, mechanically, no. And uh, if Danela were to focus on Garbled at all, Garbled would have to make a will save for the service thoughts, but I don't know if that is something Danela would be doing. She's gonna, uh, she has no reason to right now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, to be fair, the only thought like, you get is like, break in, break in, break in. Yeah, I'm like, unless he's singing like a silly little like sneaky song in his head to himself, like that's. Yeah, it, yeah like it would just simply be, it's like, I haven't broken into a place in so long. This is gonna be so fun. Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Um, but Lacrimosa has entered her domicile, um, and Garvold, you are out on the street. Aya and Danela, you are up on the roof. Uh, what are you doing? I have no idea what Gobbled is, because otherwise she'd want to convey a message, but she's like, I, I am assuming Gobbled managed to catch up, but there's a lot of patches of places where the light doesn't reach. I can't fucking find him. Um, I mean, regardless, like, with the tech thoughts, you know the presence of creatures with thought, like, yeah. Danila knows what Gobbled is, regardless of, like, anything else. Yeah, Denali, yeah new presence or absence of thoughts. If I can, yeah, I can tell if he's here. You you know he's around. You don't know necessarily yeah. exactly where he is. You know he's around though. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I his vibes. <laughs> his vibes are there. The garbled vibes. The gar vibes. The garbled. Vibes. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so we are on the roof. And she just went yeah. inside? Yes. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm still disguised, but I can draw that. Now, while that's happening, this is a building. Houses yeah. are buildings, theoretically. Yes. Yeah? What? If there was a place where someone wanted to break into this building, um, would Garvel be able to take a second to figure out with this building the best point of access? Um, yeah, let's make that a... Because what I'm thinking here is 
I'm trying to scam knowledge engineering because I want to click knowledge engineering. <laughs> PK, uh, yeah, it's a <laughs> I, I see, I see the question. I will address it in a second. I mean, I was, I would say either maybe I could make an argument. I could hear an argument for knowledge engineering or escape artist. Um, those are two that I would tolerate. Um, Escape artist is actually better than knowledge engineering. I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do some escape artist. Twenty-two. Okay. So you can scope out a solid window to get in here through. Yeah, that seems like the right spot. It seems like it goes into um, a room that is at least dark at the moment and therefore is not, like, you're not going to be busting out into the living room. It's It looks like you could get up there and get down from there pretty easily. Um, so, yeah. Oh, easy. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Fresh stealth check, and yeah. Okay, come on, stealth. You haven't failed me yet. Thirty-two. Ooh. God. Okay. Now this is this is where all garbled bad percep- like, good perception rolls go, just into stealth instead. <laughs> good, I'm praying for it. Alright. You can get into this building. <laughs> PK is stunned. <laughs> stunned by the bad decision making. PK is just PK was expecting, in fact, the reverse split in terms of people going to deal with things, or at least a slightly different makeup of the trios. Um, and the so... We get the ideal split! Listen, I'm not a paranormal ghost investigator, but I am able to break into a building pretty well. Yeah, so... Speak of PK. The, hmm. Is Can Aya gonna I punch a ghost? Say again. Can I try to find Gobbled? Because, like, Danielle hasn't found her that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gobbled is around. I mean, yeah, you can make a perception check. He's about to be in the house, so, like. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, roll perception, I guess. And, Garbled, you're getting into this window, and you're coming into a dark room. You have dark vision. This is not a problem for you. Um. And you can tell it is just sort of a, it is just like a little parlor, like little reading nook. There's a bookshelf there. You don't know where Garbled is, alas, no. Aya. Um, alas. Alas. I apologize. I apologize. And um, the door is closed. Um, you can see light under the door. Um, and you can hear footsteps, presumably lacrimosis. Approaching Not approaching, distance. but just cool. sort of out in the rest of the house. Okay. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm getting into full stealth mission vibe, but I'm, still, I'm just like, okay, how do I not get cool? Okay. Um, do I think Lacrimosa is in the next room behind this door? Um, you think she is, if not, if that is, you're, you don't think that is a room, you would guess that is a hallway, but you think she is not far down the hallway, um, to to one direction you that's where you sort of hear the footsteps so you would guess she's in 
a room just down the hall. Oh, I've got to get out. Was, I've yeah, I've got to go see. <laughs> oh, just very yeah. quietly trying to open doors and head that way. Okay. All right. Um, you creep your way down this hall and you sort of pause near an open door and you hear um let me check uh something in the description real quick could you make a quick this is not this is not because anything is happening to you um, could you make a quick will save for me, please? I can. Quick will save. 24. Okay, yeah. So, you, um... You hear Lacrimosa speaking. And what you hear is, we need to discuss something urgently. What is the soonest you can be in Camlin? It's business. And then a pause. Yes, she's on the phone. <laughs> But she can mm. cast, she's a high enough local caster to cast sending. Mm -hmm. Or she's got like a sending stone. Yeah. Are these sending stones exist in Pathfinder? I do. Nice. Yeah, she's on the sending phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's having a phone call. Um, sorry, she's she, on a business call. Like, sorry, I, sorry, I need to step out. I have to take this, but it's just a sending. <laughs> <laughs> they queue up in your brain and you get like 30 seconds before you hear it so you could be like excuse me <laughs> here's the thing here's the thing so she uses that to get out of conversations she doesn't want to have <laughs> no no you have to respond here eventually you only have 30 seconds to stall <laughs> no 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 uh, she's like in a physical conversation she wants to get out of and you're like sorry I have to take this oh no, yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I read Paul's to accept that he's dealing with the beast in the roof. Um He's like, no, no, take this. It's a, it's about my cat. <laughs> I, I don't think... think No, go ahead. I'm just thinking about him doing that to Nashamara, is that his name? Uh his yeah. fucking boss in yeah, I'm not sure. How mad they would be. Okay, having just checked something about this garbled, you actually would hear the other side of the conversation as well. Oh, um, oh fuck yeah! Yes! Yo! So, you hear. Like, you don't understand how clenched my fists are in, like, joy. Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> Garbled can also hear the other side of the conversation, which goes like this. I can be there early next week, if it's really that important. Is someone causing issues? Um, and there is another brief pause. And then Lacrimosa just not issues per se. It is something I think we should discuss in person rather than over the shells. I will see you early next week. Thank you. And the response is, 
Well, all right, darling. See you next week. And that's it. And you just hear a deep sigh from Lacrimosa and the sound of something being set down on a desk. And how does, I do need to ask, like, how does this other voice sound? Like, I need to know this. Like, it sounds, I don't know. No, I'm fine. Sorry, my brain is doing, my brain is doing. You can make a, you can make a sense motive on the other voice if you would like. Yeah, that's what my brain was trying to say. I need to know the vibe here. It's only a 16. Okay. A 16, um, it's sort of a, the voice was definitely curious. It wanted to know what was going on. Um, and it wasn't dismissive per se, but it was a little bit like, well, okay, if you say so, like, uh, I'm not sure it needs to be this serious. But since you're saying it is, we can do it that way. That was sort of the vibe from the, the tone, at least. Without knowing anything else about the person, um, that's that's what you would, that's what felt like the vibe to you. Yeah. Okay. Well, no need to risk anything. I think, I think Garvold's happy with that and is ready to retreat. Okay. Ed, get get out of there. Um, for funsies, I will say, Aya, you've been searching for Garvold and just kind of looking around, and you don't find him until he is climbing out the window. Yeah. Which is a little bit like... Do, 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 like you can see Aya sort of skimming, pause, and then cock her head. It's a little bit like... What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't the assumption um, she has drawn. Like Garbold is not dropping stealth. Mm. Garbold is not dropping stealth until like near Danela and the uh, brain. I am. Uh, I, uh, yeah. I think. I think you guys. I will <laughs> say for the sake of simplicity, you guys can all come together on a roof. Um, yeah. Yeah. A couple buildings away. Yeah, and Garbold is just like, well, I've learned a detail or two. Um, I got into the building. We noticed. Did you, did you just preempt where she lived and just get there before her? <laughs> oh no, I, I was following, but... <clears throat> I've seen buildings like this before, and if you generally want to go to the window on the south side, people don't tend to care about those windows and leave them unlocked. They're malleable. They're the windows you go for, and you always want to go to one up. Anyway. You in case the joint. <laughs> um, no, it was a split-second decision to just go through a window. But she had a conversation with someone. I'm going to assume on a device because they are coming into town early next week. I don't know who, but Lacrimosa is wanted. But and wants this person here. But it also makes me think whatever happen is happening to Navi is not such a rush that it can't wait till next week. Okay. Because she was very upset and trying to not think about why. Yes. I, I think if it was even more urgent... 
then I fear there would be more concern. I say we just continue scouting early next week. Also, she's clearly, this isn't necessarily relevant, she's clearly not used to places like, with Ruse this way. She didn't look up once. <laughs> there is basically no judgment there, but there's a little bit like... I, I need to be clear, Aya is basically always looking up. Her standards of how often you should look up are... Yeah, she's a bird. She she's wants to perch. She she wants to perch, and also she's like, hmm, something could like try to drop down on me from one of these rows. Oh my god, she's an incredible. <laughs> oh my god, she's very distracted. <laughs> there is a gobble. So that maddening. Acromosa, no. He's so He's very upset and very distracted. It's actually infuriating. <laughs> well, we got to do close I don't know what that for. She hit like a twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, she 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 hit a twenty-one with a four easily. Yeah, no, I think she did. No. Um, like, that thing, I got incredibly lucky just by rolling above 30s every time. And even then, I was, like, still scared. I'm like, she might see through this. <laughs> I was yeah. just like, I was like, I think her modifier is better than myself. <laughs> she should have been able to see through it. Unfortunately. Um, yeah. So, you guys can have your little little roof convo debrief. And then I assume you're heading back to home base. Oh, of course. Yeah. We should go check on the others and see if they were able to clean anything about the alley. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys get back to a uh, ghost semantics discussion. I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I do have one minor but slightly important question: Does Garvold have roof access from the safe house? Like, it feels like he would. The Sorry. bird woman needs the outside. <laughs> needs the outside. But also, it's like, this is the thing that makes sense to me. Oh. Listen, of course. There is roof access. Cool. <laughs> I have great news. Bird on roof. Bird on roof. <laughs> Um, if you think about it, a bird on the roof is something that can be so personal. <laughs> cool. Yeah, Victor Victor is just kind of sprawled a little on the couch and just Well, people have tried to classify different kinds of ghosts. Um, I would preferably argue that ghosts are one thing and lots of other undead spirits perform in other forms and should be classified, you know? <laughs> I love with her. Oh my god, I didn't see the raw perception rolls, holy shit. <laughs> It was Again. bad. It was if, bad. If, if Victor I, was talking to us, is taking notes. Um, not yeah, to, like, learn yeah. much, oh, exactly, but he is writing it for his own story-making purposes. <laughs> yeah, Fern, Fern is listening with lots of attention. He's talking about ghosts. Look yeah, at other guys. undead Look spirits. Guys. Look at these guys. They do. Talking about ghosts. You, do, you, you guys do come in and she's like, oh, well, I'm going to be up front with you all. You all should go first. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Davo fully walked in, like, honestly, like, very happy with him. Like, ver like usually you wouldn't be able to tell, like, immediately. It's like, Gold is very happy with himself. <laughs> 
It's like Aww. him. It's like, yes, that may be for the best. Um, tailed like most of, undetected on my end, got to where she yeah. is. Mm -hmm. where, she, <laughs> where she is residing at current, may have broken in very slightly. Um, and I listened to a conversation. Uh, she was talking to someone on the other end, asking them when the soonest they could get here is. Uh, early next week it is. Um, she... They seemed a bit apprehensive of the urgency of the matter. Not that Lacrimosa really gave any detail, which is a shock. Um, but after the phone call, they agreed early next week. And Lacrimos seemed resigned to that. All right. Mary. There's still other things we can look into. I think regarding that whole thing. Bunker's Hill is haunted. Got smacked by a ghost. Oh. Well, it was not it. fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Like rocket ships, just like rocket ships. If 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 it's a modern phrase that should not be in Pathfinder, it's fine. It's a dwarven loan word. <laughs> it's, I feel like sometimes it's a gnomish loan word. Um, I, once in a while, I, but gnomes are different. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love things. I love things in in like TT RPG fantasy settings. That are like the the Discworld Pavlov's dog footnote, um, Pavlovian response footnote. Um, I yeah. I love it, and like a, I think, and I and I love this. I need to actually like, look up the Discworld Pavlovian like response. Fantasy, much so, like a fantasy. Costco. It's like Final uh, Final Fantasy's etymology for the word gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It probably bears some resemblance to like the actual real yes. world. I see we all have been on Tumblr.com. Yes, I've seen the post. <laughs> um, I need to look up the... I'm looking that up right now as well. <laughs> so, anyway, back on topic. Uh, Victor has just said that Bunker's Alley is haunted. <laughs> that said he got punched yep. by a ghost. Okay. He still looks a little bit like disheveled, um, but look, it's le it's more like he's got like a bruise somewhere that he didn't before that'll probably go away in the morning. <laughs> like actually physically punched by a ghost. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know ghosts could punch. Are you oh, trust okay? me, it was quite a surprise for me too. Okay. And matches didn't really do much to it, so maybe a magical weapon would do something, but um, not a magically summoned creature, which you would think maybe would make a difference, but I suppose not. He kind of pouts a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, ma magical capabilities are not within my realm necessarily. Um, <laughs> shakes your hand, garbled. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't try to cast a harming spell necessarily at her, but 
ghosts don't seem to do much reason, at least not this variety. I tried mind linking with her for a moment, but it didn't seem to do much of anything. Didn't seem to reach her. So. Okay. I don't think she's something we can necessarily reason with, but Victor was saying before to me, uh, there's a way to maybe resolve it, maybe? He's gonna look at you. Ghosts like this, remnants like this, they, they're usually here yeah. for some sort of reason. It's where unfinished business, you know, that sort of idea comes from. Um, usually, if you resolve it, they move on. Okay. Bad news is, it could be anything. Do we have any information on her? No family. Lived in town. Garvel could break into her house. Garvel just does like a like, well. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's an option, yeah. Not of breaking and entering, they're high fiving. Let's see. The occasional breaking and entering is a fun endeavor. Excuse you, Mary. He's in his garage and trying to attack my mouse. One second. So, okay, more digging into what happened, uh, who she was, to possible find, and were you able to investigate the site very much? No, there was kind of a ghost there. I wasn't sure if she was there immediately or if... I mean... We did get kind of a look, a general look at the at the place. Yeah. I think to do more digging we're gonna have to distract the ghosty. I might be able to. I can concentrate my energy and get through some magic defenses and I can make myself difficult for her to hit. I can basically be big and distracting and in her face. Keep her off you guys. Good work. She does pack a punch, well. so we'll have to be careful. Again, I would probably need somewhat of a different weapon, because my my fighting style kind of relies on. We could always point. see if we could find you a magical dagger or something. Maybe oh yeah, yeah, that, that, like that would. That. Um. <laughs> I have a potion of magic weapon that I've never used. Also have the spell in general. Oh, well that would solve our problem. Your problem. <laughs> so, but Garbled, you're also better at investigating than I am. You've got a lot more practice. I think no matter what we do to prepare, it's going to probably involve a little outside investigation first, so we have a little time to figure out what we might do. 
Mm. In regards to weaponry. Mm. I wonder if there's something we can find to maybe confine her to an area. Maybe. Um... Maybe. Might depend on the actual specific type of ghost she is. Mm -hmm. But there might be options. Out of character. I have magic circle against evil. Um, I don't think it will work on her necessarily because I don't think she's evil. She's just sad. She's just sad. She got murdered. Oh, and yeah, I think it's I only on summoned creatures, which makes this a stupid spell to have. But it's fine. I got it for free. <laughs> Whatever. I got it for free. Sorry. <laughs> Is Soot nice. being a damp cat again? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he, he looks like Not he's wet. about to say he has something useful, and then he stops himself and pouts a little. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, PK, regarding, um, the weapon attunement. Mm -hmm. And I know this is a question I've asked before, but I need to verify the answer. Okay. Does, um, the weapon attunement... Does that effectively make the weapon a monster work while you are wielding it, or does it make it magical? Because it says it's an enhancement bonus, but that doesn't necessarily... Um, give me a second. Victor's voice has been all over the place tonight. I'm so sorry about it. Victor's a little all over the place right now. It's fine. Um, She's allowed. I am too. <laughs> Look, I had. I ended up deciding on a Russian for my for yesterday. When I was playing Call of Duty, and it kept just dropping in and out. The reception got real buggy. It's fine. Sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah, the voice is hard to maintain. <laughs> You're doing great. I'm so proud of you. what I said about this before. I do not think it necessarily is a... I do not believe it counts as a magical weapon. Okay. I figured not, but I had to sort of verify because I was like, wait, this doesn't... I can't remember the conclusion we have drawn about this. Yeah, I will say I do not believe it counts as a magic weapon. Um, if it is magic in addition to you, it can be magic and have its and have an okay. a, a, and have and have and have an enhancement bonus on it. Yeah, but it cannot. Uh, it's not just magical due to having the enhancement bonus. Okay, which I think is useful information for us to figure out an in-universe way to state. Because that will mean that I goes, oh, okay, so my fans are going to be out. Okay. Just because you're really good with something doesn't make it magical. <laughs> I mean, what? yeah, but also...
also consider, isn't that kind of key strike? It's like, you're really good at channeling your key. So now, you're, now, now your ability to throw hands is magical. Now it's relevant. Cold iron and solar. I'm going to fight this ghost with the magic of friendship. Um, you can't I'm, use I'm the sure. power of friendship for everything. I, I mean, can. Victor, you're dry. <laughs> No, I'm using my weapon. Its name, is, its name is friendship, and it channel, channels friendship into <laughs> into pain. Vic, Victor is gonna like pull out the the gun and just like, well, this is not gonna do a damn thing either. So, but it just in the case of that would the gun be able to? Would it be able to? An effect, or would you have to make all the ammunition magical? PK, would I have to? Can I get gun enchanted and be fine, or do I have to use bullshit magical okay. bullets all the time? I mean, magic bullet. Okay. <laughs> you enchant the gun in a way that it makes every single ammunition you load into it also magical. Give it like an area of effect. That's how you get around this. Have a yeah. ring inside the barrel of the gun that has like an activative thing where it activates it and makes the bullet magical when it passes through, maybe. <laughs> I was thinking That's of kind of rad. Yeah. That's a really cool idea. <laughs> uh, what's the actual answer? Hold on. <laughs> okay. I. Magic weapon. The spell magic weapon gives a weapon a plus one enhancement bonus on attack and damage rolls. The spell greater magic weapon gives that weapon an enhancement bonus or affects as many as 50 arrows, bolts, or bullets, which implies that... The first does not. The first is not, but it does not say one melee weapon. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that implication is so it's like you can affect equivocal arrows and anyone who uses those arrows, they will be magical uh, until they are fired. Um, what, what level is greater magic weapon? Third. Uh, uh, cleric 4, Paladin 3, Sorcerer Slush, Wizard 3. Oh, Cleric 4? Then I should have it by now. Hold on. I have not put in many of my 4th uh, level spells, I'm so sorry. Give me a second. It's all good. I'm, look, I'm um, figuring something out. Yeah, my, my um, reading of that third part of Greater Magic yeah. Weapon is, um, like, you could affect a quiver full of 50 arrows, and then anyone in the party who's using a bow could have those be magical be until they're fired. Hold on, I can't find greater magic weapon on the website. It's in just magic weapon, it's just a subset of it. Oh, it's just a subset? That? I hate shit like that. Uh, you yeah. Can, it, it is actually available on the roll 20 as a separate thing. Uh, like, if you go into the Rose 20 um, companion use, tab, it's available. I use, that, I use a different website to keep Fern's character sheet. I'm so sorry, yeah. but thank you. And that website does not have greater magic weapon. I'll just put magic weapon again in my fourth level spells and get confused by it whenever I see it there. Uh, ghost touch weapon would be expensive. Wait, I found it. Never mind, it is displayed differently in this one. It just uh, has the comma instead of putting greater at the beginning, so I couldn't find it. Okay, we're good. Ammunition Sorry. fired from a projectile weapon with an enhancement bonus of plus one or higher is treated as a magic weapon for the purposes of overcoming damage reduction. Similarly, an ammunition fired from... Okay, so you can cast and magic that... weapon on your gun. Yay! That magic is... Gun. That is, that took me five different web pages to figure out, but you can. Thank you, Pathfinder, and thank you, PK, for looking. <laughs> yes. Does Victor, have magic, does Victor have magic weapon? I do have magic weapon, yes. Nice, nice, nice. I also can prepare it if we ever need more than one or more than like the limited amount of Victor magic weapons cast. I have eight. 
Nice. I mean, like, I have eight level one spell slots in general. How, does, um, how, did, how does that happen? Innate casting. Innate casting and stupidly high charisma. Uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm asking yeah. this because I, my, my, I, I've been leveling my backup with the party and I keep doing things wrong. <laughs> he does not have that many level one spells. I can, I can sit down and I can help you later. I promise. Thank you. <laughs> So the potion of magic weapon I have will make a weapon magical for one minute. Yeah, just one minute. Yeah. Um, if we get a potion of magic bang, we should be able to make matches the magic weapon. Does, but he's a creature, though, isn't he? Yeah. Like he's a creature. No, yeah, I can't. I can't. I. The spell does not work on things that are not. It, you, it specifically you can't exempts. You can't put a spell on a weapon. Um, a such as an it, unarmed strike, instead, see magic fang. A monk unarmed strike is considered a weapon and thus can be enchanted by the spell. It doesn't need to be because I as punch is already counted magical. Yeah, no, but well, the the, nat the, but the 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 matches natural attack is still going to yeah. like. Because he yeah. technically counts oh, as a magical, like, creature, but his attacks are not magical and they can't be made magical. They can with the spell Magic Fang, that's what Joe was saying. Oh, Magic Fang, yeah, that one works. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the yes. other one. <clears throat> Sorry. No. Um, you are somewhat familiar with Magic Fang, actually, because I believe you did something to want to be cast from your boyfriend. I mean, he's- I've got a potion that can do it. So I, mm -hmm. I, mad, yeah, the magic fang, fang potion I got for 40 GP. I still have it. I should have given it to Adder, but like. <laughs> Victor <laughs> is can, just like, gonna. <laughs> I also Victor... realize I'm not. Sorry. Victor's just gonna be like, I need to go get more bullets anyway. We can look and see what magical weapon offerings there are here, if there are many. I can also contribute any of my money. I don't really need very much of it. I, I have I've a got spell that gives me a magic weapon. I've Do got it, actually. Do I have money? Gobble <laughs> checks his pockets and it's just like, I've got a few coins. Sorry, I'm just like... I heard the small, do I have money? And I just imagine Danela checking her pockets. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was me oh and her. Oh she God. does, in fact, have money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. She, she has gotten paid for some other jobs we've done. Mm -hmm. Well, just the thought of she's a sugar baby and she has no money. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's provided to her. Why would she need money? <laughs> money is her magic. No, she has money. Good. Compensation. Oh. Well, if I really need matches to do damage, I suppose I can use Magic Fang on him because I have the potion. It just... yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna feed your dog a potion? Like, like, she just gonna, like, sits up and is suddenly very interested. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't mind. You've seen him eat things. He he doesn't mind. So just gonna look around and see if matches will come to him. Uh <laughs> um, because I feel bad that he couldn't fight the ghost, I won't make you roll matches can show up. <laughs> I'll just like I'll pull out the little bottle of um uh, of magic foam page uh fang the magic fang potion that I bought and just have him like it only lasts it. for a minute. <laughs> yeah, well matches only last for like a minute also, so Okay. <laughs> if I really matches need will it. sniff the potion. You know you know you know the little grin that 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 dogs do? Yeah. yeah. The Borzoi grin. Yeah. Just a little crack with the teeth. Yeah. yeah. He does a little with the teeth. <laughs> See, he likes it. He wouldn't mind. It's like giving him, like, salmon oil, you know? Good for him. And he'll rough his little ears. 
<laughs> I think. Surely there's no adverse effects to feeding it to your dog. Interdimensional dog. Whatever you are, I love you as you are. <laughs> You're a good boy. Um, he licks your ear. Oh. <laughs> My boy. Gross. Giving him sni- yeah, This is the Matches experience. He's obsessed with ears. <laughs> this is the kind of guy that will let his dog kiss him on the lips. Um, not exactly. He, he like, turns his face away to that. He doesn't okay. mind the ear thing too much unless he's, like, really going for his ear. Then he kind of <laughs> just, you know, you, there's only so much dog kissy you want to take. Um... Shrug. Sorry, that was important information from a character standpoint. <laughs> Sid, Sid doesn't let him I mean, going walk to all my over him. Don't worry. Him. He he will let like he will let uh, matches lay on him, but he he will not like let him do a bunch of shit to him. You know, he won't let his dog <laughs> walk all over him. He's a good boy. He doesn't always do that. <laughs> Anyways, enough about my dog. It's never enough about your dog. Yeah, um, he's great. We have a bit of a plan. We have some things we can follow up on. And we have about a week before whoever lacrimizes a cold shows up. You didn't recognize the voice you heard, right, Garhold? That she was talking to? Not as far as I am aware. You did not. This is a brand new voice to you. Okay. All right. That worries me a bit, but who knows? All right. Um, and because you guys have a plan, and because it's low no five, and that's PK bedtime, or at least PK needs to be done uh, DMing time. Uh, that's what we're gonna call it for the night. Good job, guys. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, congratulations on tailing a woman so successfully. You hear the voice of an NPC who's not supposed to be introduced for um, a week. I unlocked a hot minute. I unlocked <laughs> secret access to an NPC early. You got you got early <laughs> access. <laughs> you got. I'm not gonna continue my sentence. Um. Oh. Oh. So, because we we got early access to character, we get early access to level up, right? Huh? Uh, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me let me tell you guys. You don't want to be level eight right now. Oh god. No. Okay. That's cool. Funny. Noted. Okay. Let's Beer not as long ENG. as possible, guys. Listen, let me get the benefit. Have you performed any active threats against us before we hit level 8? No, I did. But my only thought process is let me get the full effects of my 7th level feat before we move on to 8th level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have a guy you need to find. <laughs> I have something I need to find. Yeah, we gotta find him. something you need to find. Hmm. So, okay. you know, that's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, good work, guys. Um, good work so on surviving. I was really scared because she can do a ton of damage in one hit if um, you yeah. don't make the fortitude save. And yeah. uh, I, you, you had me nervy because I, I rolled a 32 and I was praying for you to make it and you did, yeah, when, so that was when good. When I heard the, oh. the 32 hit and then um, the, the damage The 32 was the damage. Are opposite, whatever the hell. Um, 
Yeah. The, the to hit and then the damage I received. I was like, um... Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should get out of here now. Because I was debating on attacking her, and I was like, if I attack her with the one damage spell I really have, which is uh, <laughs> Burning Hands, it would burn everything around us and her. And I didn't really want to destroy the alleyway more than it was, because it would look suspicious if there was, like, a bunch of singe marks in there after somebody had died there, so, like... So someone committed awesome to try and cover this up. Yeah, and I didn't want to have, like, the two people running out of the alleyway really fast and then some other guy walking out, power walking. Um, that would be really fucking suspicious. We could get arrested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 